Hey, what up? This is Rose. I'm here in Svalbard. Svalbard is a Norwegian archipelago located between Norway and the North Pole. I chose what I believe to be the most interesting option. A three-day expedition to the North Pole via the Barneo Ice Camp. Cost for the three-day expedition? 21,000 US dollars. Yeah, I know. I know. It was painful for me. I have less than $100,000 in my bank. I still have a stable income, and I still have my home mortgage to pay. My logic was telling me to stop, to do not even bother, but my heart is that every month to go, it's that you have to do this, you would hate yourself if you don't. So I figured it, since I'm never ever going to make it to Mars, or explore out of space in my lifetime, the least I could do is to visit one of the poles, and trust me when I say the North Pole is way cheaper than the South Pole, which is a big cost. When and if the time comes when financially spent from all the traveling, I could look back at all my photos and videos of me at the North Pole and smile. Alright, so today is ice caving day and we're here in the middle of nowhere <laughs> with my group behind me. <laughs> I want to show you how we entered this ice cave, okay? Boom! So we go down this hole right there. Oh my god. We've had the question now is, do you want to be the last one or the ones in the middle? What if the ones ahead of you fall on you? All right, I don't know what leg. Inside an ice cave right now, it's pretty dope. Can you see? Oh my god, this is awesome. I've never been inside an ice cave in my life. This is, of course, our pre North Pole activity. So we're getting ready to board the Freya. It's a very special vessel because it's kind of not open to any tourists or any tour groups. It's kind of very special privilege because our guides are friends to the owner of the ship. So we've got a little treat here. My expedition mates, say hello! So today is D-Day, we're just literally waiting to take off to the North Pole and we're going to be flying about two and a half hours to 89 degrees north. It's a place called Barneo Ice Camp. Inside the aircraft right now, it's uh, not quite a festival plane, it's kind of like a really crowded so it's not your typical airplane configuration, I'm going to show you why it's like. It's a 2-2-2 and then everyone's facing the other row. It's really odd. We Right now is literally uh, a type of ice. I still can't believe I'm here. I'm one degree closer to the North Pole. I'm gonna fucking cry now, guys. So I'm gonna be spending the night here at the Barneo Ice Camp. It's something really special. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing to be sleeping so far up north the planet. The Barneo Ice Camp is a Russian weather research facility. So we get all these Russian vehicles. That is the diesel power station right there. This is the cloakroom. Oh my god, let me show you the toilet. So there's only two toilets. This one and this one. It is so fucking gross. I used it just now. The toilet's pretty much like this. You step in there. It's literally... All the shit goes in there. Into the snow. Ah, it smells really bad. And here, my friends, there's no restroom or anything. Very specific. There is a place for cleaning teeth. No choice here, whatever they serve, we eat. So lunch is a beef stew of sorts, not bad. A lot of canned stuff like the olives. It's like a creole soup with a little bit of rice. There's a lot of prawns, you've got fish in it. We're getting ready to board the helicopter for the North Pole. <laughs> Okay, 
Itaba, really important. This one can move the boat. hiking about 140 meters, a fellow expedition mate from China found True North. He was just standing two meters away from me. So everyone rushed towards him to borrow his phone to take a photo because if you don't have a photo with a compass that says 90 degrees north, were you really at the North Pole? <laughs> so this 90 degrees north location lasted all of 30 seconds before shifting again. There are no land mass at the polar ice cap. Everything is just pretty much floating through the ice. And this floating piece of ice I'm moving on an earth that's rotating on an axis. So you're not going to get 90 degrees north that stays still. It's constantly moving. So that was the challenge. A lot of my friends, some of my followers on Instagram as well, thought I was crazy to pay 21,000 US dollars to go on this three-day expedition to the North Pole. Being here, I realized the mad logistics and planning and expertise that's required to make a North Pole expedition happen. Just the sheer amount of expert manpower needed to calculate risk, repair faults, and keep us safe from harm can easily contribute to that $21,000 per person price tag. 
So I am now convinced that in order to explore extreme locations, I really gotta commit. Financially, physically, emotionally, there's just no two ways around it. You know, being surrounded by nothing but barren land of snow and ice forced me to kind of be alone with my thoughts. I didn't expect to feel so overcome with so much emotion. It was strangely very difficult to process. This journey was more of a, a mental and emotional one for me. One that filled with gratitude and clarity. I remember when I was at the North Pole, I kind of moved away from the group, found a little corner for myself. I took a quiet moment, just taking everything in. And then one of our guides found me, turned around, made me smile and snapped this photo. I had my mascara running, I didn't even know until I saw the photo. I must have been crying before he found me, but I, I can't remember because I couldn't feel my face. It was like minus 36 degrees Celsius. And now finally being home, it's such a bittersweet feeling. I've connected with so many awesome new people, inspiring people as well. But I've definitely returned to Singapore a, a different person, a changed person. My heart is heavy but there's a certain weightlessness in my being. I can't quite explain it. Yeah. Please subscribe to our channel. If you want to watch the episodes before they hit YouTube, you can download the Click Network app. It's free. And if you want to follow my adventures around the world, you can follow me on Instagram. And that's at Kross. See you on my next adventure.